Hi everyone. So as part of this problem, we have the input table as candidate, which has the below columns ID, which is the candidate ID, name, that is the name of the candidate, and interview date, indicating when the candidate appeared for the interview. Okay. Now we need to find out which are the eligible candidate. Okay, so we have to find out the candidate who are eligible for the further interviews based on these two criteria. So these two are the eliminating criteria. So any candidate who has appeared for two or more interviews will not be eligible for the further interviews. Furthermore, if any candidate has appeared for interview within 180 days, that is within the six months, again, that candidate also is not eligible. So we have to consider these two criteria as the eliminating criteria and check whether the candidate is eligible or not. Okay, so if they have given two or more interviews or if they have given the interview within six months, we need to uh, eliminate them. Okay, so this is what uh, is the output here. So as we see the first candidate Radhika Kumari has appeared for two interviews. So this is the first eliminating criteria that the candidate will not appear for two or more interviews. So that's why this candidate is not eligible. Talking about the last candidate. So this candidate has appeared only for one interview. So they are not eliminated because of the first criteria. However, they have given the interview within 180 days range. That is on 5th of May, which is within 180 days. That is from the current date. Uh, it is within one like 103 days back the interview is given. So due to the second eliminating criteria, the candidate is not eligible. But talking about the other two candidates, they have appeared for only one interview and have given the interview long back, like more than 180 days back. So that's why they are eligible. And this duration we are calculating from the current day and uh, when they have appeared for the interview. So that calculation we are doing and finding out whether they are within the 180 days range or not. And based on that, we have to determine whether the candidate is eligible or not. Okay. Now talking about the approach that we can take to solve this problem. So regarding the first criteria, we have to check whether the candidate has appeared for two or more interviews. So here we can use the count function. Okay, to determine how many entries or how many times the candidate has appeared. So based on that, we can compute the total times the candidate has appeared. That is the first thing. And regarding the second criteria. So what we can do is we can find out when was the last time the candidate appeared for the interview. Okay, for example, this candidate appeared for the interview on this date and check whether that date is within the 180 days range or not when compared with the current date. Okay, so after that we can determine that whether the candidate is eligible or not. Okay, so now let's uh, implement this approach. Okay, so what we will do is as a first step we will get all these details we will get the total records total entries that are present for that particular candidate for each of the candidate okay so that is total interviews that the candidate has appeared for okay so let's see this um candidate that is invalid okay um so Think there is some other column name it is id only the name from candidate id name okay um it is not content okay so since this is a grouping uh, aggregation we have to add the group by condition here so after adding the group by it will work fine okay so now we have got the total number of interviews each user has given next step is finding out when was the last time they appeared for the interview. 
so for that we can use the max function on the interview date okay so this will give us the last or the latest interview date for particular candidate let's run this so here for each of the candidate we now have when they appeared for the interview on the latest date which is the last interview that they appeared for okay so uh, now we have the first uh, eliminating criteria satisfied like we have uh, we have the details that we need and based on that we can uh, make a, a eligible uh, check whether they are eligible or not but for the second criteria we still need to find whether it's within 180 days range or not so we have to compute the difference of this date with the current date okay so let's do this let's make it make this as a cte let's call it as candidate cte now we will operate on this cte okay so um from this candidate cte what we will do is we have to compute the difference so let's keep all the columns as it is and let's use the date difference function with date difference we have to compute the difference in terms of days so that is the first parameter and we have to find the difference between the columns latest interview date and the current date so current date we can get using get date function okay so this will be the total duration now let's run this and see the output so we have got the total duration when compared with the current date current date and this latest interview date the difference will give us the total duration so now we have both the uh, details that we need the total number of times the user has given the interview and the total duration uh, when the last interview was given so having these details now we can check whether the candidate is eligible or not okay so let's write a case condition so when the total interviews is greater than equal to two that means the candidate has appeared for two or more interviews then is or she is not eligible okay so this is the first elimination criteria now talking about the second elimination criteria so what we will do is this total duration this total duration should be if it is less than equal to 180 that means the candidate appeared for the last interview within 180 days okay then again the candidate is not eligible so we have used the or condition so if any of this elimination criteria is satisfied the candidate will not be eligible okay otherwise that is else condition they the person will be eligible and this we can end our case statement and call this as is eligible column name okay so so now we have the full solution here let's uh, run it okay and let's do one more thing let's order it by the candidate id okay okay so we have the final solution so like we said initially the first candidate has appeared for two interviews that's why the person is not eligible similarly last candidate has appeared for interview within 180 days that's why not eligible but the other two candidates have appeared only for one interview and have appeared for the last interview like way back like more than 180 days back so that's why they are eligible so this way we have formulated the solution and this is the query that we have written to reach to this uh, solution so if you have any alternate solution feel free to put it in the comments and uh, if you found this uh, video useful Please like the video and please subscribe the channel. Thank you.